Charlie, our Nebraska Furniture Mart holdings keep making more and more money. Let's call a jeet and see what's going on. Good morning, Warren and Charlie. Breakfast, sir? Thanks, Tony. As your senior manager, I woke up with a hunch that Duke and Duke should buy more shares of Coca-Cola. You are a genius, Winthorpe. You are a financial wizard, sir. Change? Uh, spare change, please. All right, Buster. You're just a con man gecko pretending to be blind and crippled. <gasps> oh, I can see. And I have legs again. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> Reptiles regenerate? Stop, thief. What's the problem, officer? I'm booking this gecko for assault, robbery, and resisting arrest. Warren, remember that argument we've been having about heredity versus environment? Of course, Charlie. Winthorpe and that gecko can be part of our little experiment. Let's see if we can force Winthorpe to turn to a life of crime. And see if that reptile can become a financial genius. Beaks, we have a job for you. Okay, Gecko, you're free. This guy just bailed you out. Winthorpe, as head of security, I charge you with stealing from Duke and Duke. Huh? What? These are Borsheim's most precious diamonds. What is this? And even worse, our newest designed Fruit of the Loom underwear. You're, you're fired. fired. And under arrest. But I didn't take anything. Our plan is working perfectly. Okay, Winthorpe, you're free. This young lady just bailed you out. I always feel sorry for someone down on their luck. And besides, you're cute. All I want to do is to get my old job back. And I have a plan. So, Gecko, as our new senior manager, do you have any hunches? Sure. You should buy more shares of C's candies. But we already own 100% of it. Well, then do a promotion for geckos. We like quality sweets, you know. Our plan is working perfectly. Now let's show you Winthorpe's office. I mean, your office. Stop, Winthorpe. That's my desk. Warren, Charlie, you must fire the gecko. He eats generic candy instead of C's candy. Winthorpe, what a pathetic move. Yeah, this is my job, and I'm going to get it back. Well, our experiment is a total success. Yes, and now it's time to return Winthorpe to his old life and put the gecko back out on the street. Holy dooly. The Duke brothers did this to us? Yes. All of the changes in your and my life are their fault. Newsflash. A courier for Duke and Duke has a top secret USDA report about next year's cocoa bean crop. He's taking the BNSF railway and heading for the New York Stock Exchange. <gasps> the Duke brothers must be planning to use that report to corner the cocoa bean crop. And help their investment in C's candy. The best revenge against the Duke brothers is to see that they are financially ruined. Let's get our hands on that report. Uh, hi, I'm a NetJet pilot. I'm a Benjamin Moore painter. And I'm modeling Benbridge jewelry. Mm -mm. Care for a Dairy Queen Dilly Bar or Blizzard? Stop! Those are lousy disguises. Everybody to the back of the train. I can't wait to turn you over to the Duke brothers. <laughs> Now, we fake that report, so Warren and Charlie will fall into our trap. Right you are. More, Charlie. Let's buy more cocoa beans. Let's sell more cocoa beans, Winthorpe. Attention. We now have the official cocoa bean report in our hands. There will be more cocoa beans than usual next year, so the price has dropped. Margin call, gentlemen. You know perfectly well 
We don't have $300 billion in cash. Sorry, boys. Officer, seize all assets of Duke and Duke. We're ruined. Looking good, Gecko. Of course, that was just a cartoon. In real life, Charlie and I would never tamper with the cocoa bean markets to have any sort of impact on C's chocolates. Hey, Warren, when are you going to share some of those? Mmm, yummy.